Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am very excited. It is time for my annual Benefit Cheek Palette video. So today, this year, we have the Benefit Cheek Stars Reunion Tour Cheek Palette. So if you are interested in hearing all about this palette, seeing my demo and all of my thoughts on it, then just keep watching. So this is the third year in a row that I am reviewing the new Benefit Cheek Palette. They come out with these just about every year and it is basically a face palette with five products. It's always a super good deal because you get their boxed cheek products but all in one. Now people do claim that it is a different formula than the box products. Personally, I've never owned one of their box face powders individually before so all I know is this formula and I have no problem with this formula. I think it's really really good so I'm very excited every year to give you a demo and all of my thoughts on the new ones. The format of this video, it's going to start off with me basically just giving you general information about the palette, quickly going over the colors, just the general facts that I think you should know. We will then have a demo and then I will collect all of my thoughts and tell you at the end after the demo what I think. So let's get into it. This releases February 25th at Sephora and Benefit. Now I actually was able to get my hands on this a little bit earlier because it happened to be out at my Macy's. I had the same luck last year so I don't know maybe why that Macy's in particular always has these out early but yeah I was so surprised to see that this year this was out as well. So maybe go check out your local Macy's to see if you can get your hands on this just a little bit early So this year it is the themes cheek stars reunion tour along with this in the release It's going to be this palette of course And then you are going to be able to get a mini trio that has three of these little products in there as well If you don't want to take the plunge and purchase this I always recommend to get the mini one because you get the same products just for a lesser amount um, product wise and money wise and unless you're going to use these every single day the smaller one is a great route to go but I love a good big face palette so this is going to be $60 which honestly is a great value if you compare it to the prices of their individual boxed face products personally I always love these these are always an exciting palette for me as far as packaging compared to last year this is actually just a bit smaller so here is one of the palettes from last year so as you can see it's just a touch smaller and just a touch thinner as well. Personally, I like that. These are a little bit more chunky. I like that they went a little bit more slim. And then you open it up, you have a mirror, and then you are revealing the five face products and you have their brush, which I actually really like for contouring. I do find myself reaching for it. On the inside, you are getting five shades. Now, they do claim that three of the shades in here are new shades, and then the other two are pre-existing. The pre-existing ones are Hula, which is in every single one of these palettes but it's their most cult classic favorite popular bronzer shade and then you have cookie which is a new highlighter that was introduced last year in these big cheek palettes and it was just such a hit and I was in love with this highlighter last year so you are getting the same highlighter that was released last year in here but it's a super good highlighter and then these are the three new products you have Georgia Dallas and sugar bomb and I talk a little bit in my demo about what is actually new and what is not because all of these are three names we have heard before there actually is a sugar bomb blush out right now I did look at the pictures online of that and it looks like this is either a reform formulated version or it's a different color because the way the colors were in this little quad looked different so honestly I'm not sure if this is actually new or not it claims it's new so I'm assuming it's a new shade based on what I saw online Dallas was actually included in one of the palettes from last year as well I swatched them side by side and I think this is a reformulated one I noticed this one's have a little bit more of a rose tone to it and a little bit lighter I think now they are trying to advertise it more so as a blush rather than an all-over face powder or whatever they were advertising it for all these years so I'm assuming this is reformulated and this is why they're saying it's new it looks a little bit different than the original just something to note and then you have Georgia blush now this was discontinued a few years ago and it is now being re-released and 
it is a new formula and from what I can tell it seems to be a new color as well so before this was discontinued I think it was more of like a matte peach blush and now they've made it a peach blush with kind of a golden shift to it it's different but it's based on that old one and you are also able to purchase this individually as well once this palette comes out and just like all of their other palettes these are a scented product so when you open it up that typical benefit smell comes out at you I think it smells really nice but I know a lot of you don't like scented products so yes just like all of their other palettes this is scented each of these products are made somewhere different. Dallas is made in the USA, Sugar Bomb is made in France, Cookie is made in Canada, Georgia is made in France, and then Hula is made in the USA. So I think I've hit the major details of this palette that you immediately need to know. So I am going to go into the demo and then after that we're going to talk about this palette compared to last year's and my thoughts as well. So. Let's get into the demo. Hello and welcome to my face. Um, if you are curious about anything I'm wearing, like what my eyeshadow is, it will be linked down in the description box. But I want to show you application and me experiencing these products firsthand. So the first shade that I am going to dig into here is Hula. Hula is an absolute classic shade. It's in every single one of their palettes every single year and of course that is very repetitive. However, this is just such a good shade that it's so easy to grab for. It's a really beautiful product. To apply it, I'm using a Refer P22 brush and obviously having used this shade for years, I am quite experienced with it. I really do enjoy it. It's a good classic shade. It's a cult favorite for a reason. I don't feel the need to talk too much about the shade. It is beautiful. By the way, my foundation is not the same shade of my body. I used a Benefit foundation today in theme of this Benefit video. And I forgot that I bought that Benefit foundation in the summer after I had spent four weeks on vacation. This is Hula Bronzer. It is a very versatile shade for a lot of different skin tones. Wonderful shade. We're going to move into blush. Now there are three blush options. So the first one that I want to play with is Sugar Balm right here. This is the one where I'm not sure if it's like a new shade or not or a reformulation, but I'm just gonna take it and swirl it in there. Don't really like having to do that with the four different sections though, because I'm a very light-handed person when it comes to blush, and I don't like to swirl it in the product, I just like to tap, and you can't do that, because you have to get an even mix. But anyways, this is a refer number four brush that I'm using, and we're just gonna apply it to this cheek. So it's a matte finish, not any real sheen to it. And it's a very soft blush. It's not too, too subtle, so I think this will show up on medium skin tones. Ooh, I really like this tone. It is a very pretty wearable blush and it does actually have like the slightest amount of a golden sheen to it now that i'm looking at it really gorgeous shade very wearable dallas i'm a little confused about because this is in the full size palette as well i believe this is reformulated however i'm not really too sure it looks a little bit different but i don't know if it's that's in my head but anyways i'm gonna i feel like once it's on the cheek it's going to look the same as the old dallas but i'm applying just a quick wash of that on my cheek on the back now this says that dallas is a rosy bronze blush and i mean i think it's really stunning i think it goes very well with hula i really like how this looks it's a really really pretty color so now we're going to go in with georgia georgia is a new color it actually was in the line a few years ago and I want to say about five years ago they discontinued Georgia but this will be available to be sold in an individual at the same time that this palette releases so if you really like this color you can buy it individually it is a reformulation than how it was seven or so years ago so it's that same Georgia peachy kind of shade but now this one has more of a shimmer to it with more gold into it so it is different if you do remember the original Georgia and when I swatched it it was extremely light so I think for me this is going to be more of a blush topper so I'm gonna put this right over yeah you're not going to get much payoff from it even in my swatch it was it almost looked like on medium to deep skin tones it could work as a highlighter or a luminizer and for somebody of a lighter skin tone I would put this over the blush just to add a little bit of a glow as a blush topper. It is emphasizing my texture on my cheek just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but my texture is being emphasized because of its 
shimmery nature, but it's nothing too bad. It doesn't add too much color. I'm not extremely impressed by this shade, but I do think it's a nice addition in this palette because it does add some extra dimension to the cheeks. So for that reason, I do like it. I think it completes the palette more and really allows you to choose what you want for your cheeks. I think they made very pretty color choices. So the product individually, not my favorite, but it fits into this palette very well. Okay, so now we're gonna move into Cookie. Cookie was featured in last year's palette. It was the first time this was released. You can purchase it individually as well, and I'm happy they even have it in here, even though it is kind of annoying, because it's so good. This is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. I'm not disappointed to have another one. If you aren't somebody who likes repeats, of course, that's super annoying, but it's a pretty dang good highlighter. So I'm just gonna use my F17 from Belinda Brushes, and we're gonna put this right at the top. Ugh. It's just one of the prettiest highlighters, one of my favorites in my entire collection. Not the best on like medium skin tones. This is stunning beaming highlight. I'm gonna take that down the nose. So I'm gonna finish this look and I'll be back for my final thoughts on the product. All right, so I just put on some lips and kind of completed the look to how I wanted it to be. If you couldn't tell from my demo, all of these I thought applied really, really well. Honestly, I really like this because it is a very, very wearable palette. All of these shades I think are going to look really good on a lot of different skin tones. Just like many other benefit palettes, I don't think this really caters to deep skin tones. I think medium and below you'll be fine, but even more a deeper medium you might struggle to make these work for you especially georgia peach i think this might be more of a highlighter for deeper skin tones dallas you're gonna have a hard time getting to show up on your skin if you are of a medium complexion hula is a pretty universal shade for the most part and last year they did release a hula caramel which was more for deep skin tones and i think it was awesome that they did that but then they totally backtracked and did not cater to deep skin tones this year so i don't know what that's all about i think sugar bomb is actually a very flattering universal blush and then cookie up to medium skin tones you're gonna be fine but once you hit that deeper set point I think it's going to be too stark on your skin which is a bit disappointing I feel like they took a step back last year they actually came out with two palettes the theme last year was cheek leaders so this year you're only getting the one which personally I like I think it makes it less confusing <laughs> just coming out with one I think the two was unnecessary last year and if you want to see why I would check out my review from last year on these because it wasn't like one palette was for a lighter skin tone and one palette it was for deeper skin tones they both were like completely jumbled shades so it made it super pointless to come out with two if it wasn't actually catered to two different skin tones but yeah so these are last year's so i'm going to talk about the repeats and what to expect so if you purchased the cheek leaders pink squad palette hula and dallas are going to be your two repeats from here again like i said i think the dallases are different from each other but not different enough to be able to decipher them on the face if I'm being honest. So you are getting these two as repeats and this is much more bright and pink on the skin. Whereas I feel like this is a little bit more warm and peachy. They definitely kind of neutralized this year's palette. And then if you have the bronze squad, which was my favorite from last year, your repeats are going to be Hula and Cookie, which were the two best colors in this palette. I loved this palette a lot last year. Honestly, I think this might actually be my favorite of the ones that they have released thus far just because these are such wearable pretty colors you have my favorite highlight you have my favorite bronzer and these tones of blushes i think are really wonderful this palette overall i feel is very cohesive and the products that they chose just make sense now that being said you don't really need this palette especially if you purchase the palette from last year or the year before that because there are so many repetitive products and you think benefit would take the hint that they really do do need to release something different besides putting the same shades in the same palette every year and that is a big disappointment however if you've never purchased a palette like this from benefit I would definitely recommend you get this one it's extremely nice very pretty colors and you're not getting repeats so it would make sense but if you purchase them in the past it doesn't really make sense to purchase this unless this is like your one cheek palette that you purchase every year and you use it every single day and it's time for you to refresh and get a new palette this is the 
perfect time to get it. And this is the one face palette where I always recommend if you're the type of person that only picks up one kind of face palette to use for the whole year, this is the way to do it. They have the best products in here and this is the new one that you would be picking up this year. Or if you put this in your makeup kit, these do have a 12 month lifespan so it is good to refresh it. However, I guess I'm gross because I still <laughs> use the ones from the previous years and I still really like them. But no, overall I really like this year's palette. Same disappointments that I do have every year and that it's not exactly the most inclusive palette. Of course, there's always so many repeats. I think I own like 20 hulas at this point, but if we're talking about the palette itself, I really do enjoy this palette and I really like the colors and tones they went with this year. I just think it's an extremely wearable, easy to use palette and I do give it a thumbs up. I feel a lot less overwhelmed than I did last year because I feel like the palettes last year, not everything made sense. The products individually were fine, but the way that they chose to organize them and disperse them between the two palettes just left me feeling confused. I don't feel that way. This year I feel like all of these are cohesive with each other and it makes sense. Also, if you don't want to pay $60 for the new one and you like what you see, I believe these are on sale on Sephora right now for like $45. So I'm going to link that down below for you to check out. So like if you don't want to shell out that $60, you can get these for $45 and these are also extremely nice products as well. So I think that's a great way to kind of get around spending that money because these are still just as good. Yeah, so I'm so excited. I once again got to do this review for you guys this year. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you going to pick this palette up or are you sick of them at this point? I need to know. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.